Sophia, you're on top of the world. Yeah, I am. <laughs> okay, so down here, this is our ferry. I'm really, really excited for this. I don't want to say anti-government restaurant, but it feels that way. <laughs> Everyone says that I look like Andrew Garfield in the comments. Let me know if you think so. <laughs> okay, so we've now found this secret little passageway. I'm really, really keen to try Chinese hot pot. This is going to be an interesting experience. So, ox balls, penis, brain, stomach. This is ox penis right here. Let's give this a try. Ox penis. Okay, so we're now just putting on our braces here to uh, go up on the skywall. I'm a little bit nervous for this. Are you? Because we're going to be on the top of the building, like walking along with like a harness. Wow, exciting. How yeah. cool. So Wow. Sophia, you're on top of the world. Yeah, I am. <laughs> wow, how sick. We can walk all the way along here to the very end and we have about 30 minutes. Have you ever done anything like this? Yeah, no? My first time. Yeah, it's, no, no, I haven't. This is so cool. Right, so we've got our little things here. So we just walk along and then we've got all the track all the way to the end. Yeah, when we go back, we walk on this yellow one. So that's on the very edge. This is just the warm up. Oh my gosh. Are you scared? I'm scared now that we've got to walk on the edge coming back. So now we've got to the very end here. I thought the end was over there, but it's actually here. And as you can see, everyone is on the edge now. Oh, this is more exciting, right? Are you ready? All right, let's go. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh gosh, you have to look where you're going. This is like scary, scary. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Here comes Sophia. You can do it. <laughs> I think you're pretty scared, right? <laughs> Yuan is quite scared, I can tell. She's like holding on to this really much. I'm like, I think it gets easier the more you go but it still is quite scary, to be honest. I love Chongqing. I love Chongqing. <laughs> you love Chongqing. We love... <laughs> both love Chongqing. Yeah. Yay. I think you're scared. <laughs> it's okay. You won't fall, I promise. Guys, I don't know if she likes us anymore because we've taken her on this dangerous adventure. <laughs> you're doing great. Yeah, you're doing so good. It's actually really cool. All what we're seeing here today, Sophia, we're going to today as well. So see that theater down there, this big building here? We're going there tonight. It feels like, this city sort of feels a little bit like in New York, but like sort of the layout, like with the river and stuff. Yeah, yeah. I love this city. I love this city too. We have so much more planned today, so yeah. Let's go off to the next activity now. Now we're just going to explore more of this old town here. As you can see, it's so beautiful. And like, it's so weird, right? You got all these skyscrapers, but here you got all these old town buildings. It's such an irony, isn't it? And one thing I really like about this spot is there's not really a lot of people, which is quite nice. Sometimes Chinese tourist attractions can get really, really busy and filled with people. <laughs> So 
they have happy birthday as well? Yes. Ah, Juni Shangu Kwai Lo. Ah, okay. I was showing off my Chinese, but not impressed. <laughs> okay. Sure, sure. <laughs> This is one thing I want to talk about though in China that is a little bit strange. They build all of these big structures, they build all these restaurants, all of this, but sometimes it just doesn't get used because there's so much infrastructure. It's crazy. I feel like that there needs to be another 30 million people added to this city, even though it's a city of 34 million, I believe. Okay, so right now we're going into Mena Coffee, which I believe is a popular coffee chain here in China. So let's go in and check it out. So we're just sitting in the coffee shop I'm really excited to try my coffee so um I wanted that coffee so bad that I forgot to film it <laughs> I drank the whole thing but right now what we're doing is we're going down to the river here we're gonna get the ferry across and uh, yeah see what a ferry is like here in Chongqing which should be really cool mm. the ferry terminal opens at 5 and it's now quarter to 5 so we're just making our way there so yeah Let's should go. Be fun. Should be fun. Okay, so you might also be wondering, where does everyone charge all their electric vehicles? Well, you can see here, there's a whole heap of EV chargers. This whole parking lot here is filled with electric vehicle chargers, which is really cool. And this is the first lot I've seen in Chongqing today, but I may have not been looking properly, but that's really cool to see. So yeah, so right now we've made it down to the bottom floor. We were just up there and uh, yeah, now we got to go and get the ferry. Are you just admiring the beautiful buildings? Okay, so down here, this is our ferry. I'm really, really excited for this. I haven't been on a ferry in a while too. And Sophia, you've only ever been on one, right? When? I don't know, where were in we? In Thailand. In Thailand, yeah, we yeah. went on a ferry in Thailand. So the ferry leaves at five and it's almost five. So we got to keep going. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Walking on now. This is so cool. They've got these little like barges here that like put you onto the ferry because the ferry's so big. So it's sort of hard to get off on the side here. Okay, cool. So we're now up on the ferry. We just made it in time. And uh, yeah, we're going to be going across there very soon. I love China. <laughs> we love China. I think right now we're going somewhere over there. So that should be good. And this is the area we're actually staying, actually. I know that I've said this a million times already, but it's so sad, the bleak sky today. Oh, such a bummer. But um, a lot of the drone footage I'll show today is like really, really clear and nice skies, so you can actually see what it's normally like. But today we've just been really unlucky with that. So you can see this boat just here. It sort of looks like that there's three houses just put on top. It's like a houseboat, a massive ferry houseboat. Okay, right on five o'clock, we're now moving. Wow, this looks really cool. I really like the uh, Chinese flag back here too. Tickets for this ferry, believe it or not, were really, really cheap at only four US dollars per person, which is such great value for what you're getting. It's like sort of a mini tour of the city, but also transport as well for only four dollars. So here behind me is actually what I was talking about before that we went to last night. As you can see from these drone shots here, this just looks amazing at night time. But in the day when it's a little bit foggy like this, it looks a little bit different, but I could imagine in the summertime this would just look so beautiful. Beautiful. But because it's winter, you know, it still looks good, but not as good as what it could be. Okay, so we're now off the ferry. We actually had to get off a stop earlier uh, because it's too shallow to go to the other side. So I think now we have to get a taxi to go to the other side. So far, so good. Today's been really, really lovely experience. When we were just on the ferry then, these two girls came up to me and said, can we have a photo? And I said, sure, let me just get my fiance. And we all took a photo together. And it was nice they were practicing their English also. That's one thing that I've noticed in China is people like to practice their English, especially the little kids as well. 
well. Their parents will say, go speak English to the foreigner, go speak English to the foreigner. Kids will practice, so it's sort of cute. Okay, so right now we're just climbing all the way up here <laughs> to go to another part of the city. So then we can see uh, the view all over Chongqing and uh, different things. So yeah, we got to climb up these stairs, so let's go. So another thing I want to mention as well is there's a lot of tourism here in Chongqing. Now, it's not tourism like myself or, or Sophia. It's actually local tourism. So Chinese people coming from all different cities, whether that be Shenzhen or Wuhan or Beijing, a lot of different Chinese people all around China come to Chongqing and experience it. Like all of the people on the ferry, they were taking photos and everything, but they're from different parts of China experiencing Chongqing. So it's sort of like a local tourism. I don't know if this is some type of low-key anti-camera protest. Put a camera in a cage, but yeah, okay. <laughs> and this says keep fighting. I don't know, I don't want to say anti-government restaurant, but it feels that way. <laughs> okay, so we've now came up to the top here, the top view, and as you can see behind us, we've got the bridge as well. So there's a whole heap of little coffee shops and everything up here where you can sit and just chill. But yeah, right now I think we're walking just along here, along this uh, sort of cliffside to another part of, uh, of the city. Yeah, such a cool building. Wow. I want to be a Spider-Man and like, you know, like do this and that <laughs> and fly around every building. You want to be Spider-Man and fly around the city? Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Well, you're a Spider-Man. Oh yeah, I'm a Spider-Man. Everyone says that I look like Andrew. Everyone says that I look like Andrew Garfield in the yeah. comments. Let me know if you think so. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we're now at the Chongqing Grand Theatre. We're actually not going in, but this building is absolutely massive. And the design of this is like insane. So cool. So yeah, this is the other side of the river now. And as you can see, this is where we were up this morning doing the skywalk. So we've almost done a full 360 of the entire city, which is pretty cool. You'll see once this city here lights up, you know, this will just like that and uh yeah it will just light up and you'll think that you're somewhere in tokyo or something like that but no this is china not japan <laughs> also here in china they have these drink vending machines like in japan which is pretty cool so they have all cold ones and then you can also some vending machines have hot ones as well so you could get a hot coffee as well so pretty cool okay so we've now found this secret little passageway to go down here on the river to get a whole view of uh, a local view of the lights when it lights up so yeah let's go down this little walkway here i think there's people maybe fishing down here also let's see oh so you can see these big chains here that's for the boats when they dock. <laughs> How cool is that? I've never seen chains this big before. Wow. So I think we'll just sit down here. There's a few people sitting down here as well. Look at the bridge light up and yeah, just enjoy the view. Should be pretty cool. As you can see here behind me, there's a whole heap of people sitting out here and they'll sit on these chairs and watch all of this light off. So right now what we're going to do is we're going to go and get hot pot, which is uh, quite a famous thing here in Chongqing. So you cook your own vegetables and meat uh, in like a massive hot pot, uh, like hot boiling water, which should be cool. I've only ever done that once before, but I've never done it in China, nor like in Chinese style. So that should be really good. So yeah, we just got in the taxi and we said, take us to the best hot pot place. And he's dropped us here on the side of the road and I believe the hot pot place is down here somewhere. So yeah, should be good, I'm excited. Are you excited? Yeah. Yeah, should be good. So these are the old houses here along the river. And in one of these houses is where our hot pot is. So yeah, let's go and find that. I'm really, really keen to try Chinese hot pot. I'm so excited. It should be good. I think we'll even be able to eat outside tonight. It is like a little bit cold, but not too cold. So I think it should be good. Okay, 
Okay, so we've just came to the hot pot place. This is our menu here. It's all in Chinese, but uh, we'll figure it out. So uh, these people here behind us, you can see this is what the hot pot looks like. So there's a big sort of stove in the middle and you can cook all your different bits. You get vegetables, meat, spicy, not spicy. We have the penis. The penis? Yes. And the testicles. Oh my gosh. Are we going to try that today? <laughs> <laughs> Who's? <laughs> the animal. Oh yeah. Not human. <laughs> I know that. Okay, so we've got some traditional Chinese tea here. Let's give this a try. Cheers, guys. Brain. Yeah. Brain. Wow. Oh uh, yeah, I think I've tried. You've had brain before. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've never had brain. This is gonna be an interesting experience. So ox balls, penis, brain, stomach. <laughs> so this one here is the spicy, and this one here is the non-spicy. Yuan is just ordering us our food now as well, so I'm really keen for this. This should be good. Starving. Yeah, I'm hungry too. Yeah. This should be great. Okay, so while we're waiting for our food, the start of the hot pot is slowly boiling up here, so the middle's boiling up, we've got the side here. Eventually this whole thing will be boiling and bubbling. So it'll be really cool, and then we can cook our meat and the vegetables in the spices. I'm so keen. <laughs> so, this is ox stomach. Wow, ox stomach. This is normal meat. Wow, it's and brain, you know. that's brain. What's this one? Pumpkin. Pumpkin, okay. Meatballs as well. This is dark intestines. Oh. Dark intestines. Wow. It's like a pea sprout. Okay. Brown. It's kind of very, it's kind of specialty vegetable. Okay. So obviously all of this stuff is raw and we have to cook it inside the hot pot. For those of you who didn't catch on to that. So we use our big long chopsticks here and then cook all of this and uh, dig in. So yeah, pretty cool. Wow. So we're just putting the brain inside now to cook and boil crazy so yeah the brain takes a while to cook so we got to cook that first so right here we have the ox penis and we're about to cook and eat this as well <laughs> what do you think babe do you want to eat ox penis uh, no yeah yeah give it a try yes yeah it's gonna be a little bit weird to eat I've had cow balls in Thailand once oh. but not penis before so okay, it should be interesting penis. I guess yeah. <laughs> okay so the hot pot is now boiling up now so we're just gonna give one of these vegetables here a try Oh wow, mm. that's good. really good, yeah. Oh my gosh, that's so good. So we've also got ox stomach here too. So with this one, with the stomach and also just the uh, thin meat which is over here, you just hold it with your chopsticks and you just put it up and down like this to cook it. So right now we're just creating like a sesame oil so we can dip it in and get all of that chili off because otherwise it might be a little bit too hot. Okay, thank you. Thank you. We'll just give this a mix here. So now let's dip the stomach in there. Now let's give the stomach a try. Here we go. Ooh, I'm dripping oil everywhere. Mm. That's pretty good. Wow, that's not bad at all. So we've also got a meatball here. Let's dip it in our little sauce. Cool it down a little bit. Mm. So this is the ox testicle right here. And we'll just cook that. Okay, and now I know this is what you guys have been waiting for. This is ox penis right here. So, um, yeah, let's give this a try. Ox penis. Oi. It's good. It's very fatty. A lot of flavor though. It like sort of melts in your mouth. Pretty good. Pretty good. I have to say. Bring a meatball here with some rice. What do you think? Good? Yeah? So good? Wow. Okay, so we've gave that a really, really, really good go. We are so full. Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh my gosh. And today has been absolutely amazing. Amazing. Taihola. Ta absolutely <laughs> Taihola, which means amazing. It's been so, so good. So before we end the video, we just want to thank a few people, WC ICO, for helping us um, travel around today and also linking us up with Yuan here. She's been so awesome. Just like our best friend traveling yeah. in China. It's been so good. And I want to also thank Alex from Reportify Media and Travel, not only for helping us here in China get to China, but also with the drone shots that you saw today. Uh, Alex is a real good friend of ours. And uh, yeah, so. He's the best. He's the best. <laughs> so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching us being back in China. Well, Sophia being here for the first time, first time. me being back. So yeah, as always, guys, keep it real. Cheers. Cheers.